Did you ever want to start a nursery and just grow some trees and shrubs to make lots and lots of money? Well, that's what we thought we could do. And it happened. You can make a lot of money on trees and shrubs. But let me tell you some of the pitfalls of raising trees and shrubs so that you can grow trees and shrubs and actually make a profit. One of the most important things that people forget about when they're starting to grow trees is you must grow trees and shrubs that there is a market for. So before you start to grow something, don't grow a bunch of Japanese maples thinking, oh, I'm going to make a lot of money because Japanese maples are real valuable. You may be able to grow them, but you may not be able to market them well. So marketing and growing things that can be taken to a market are very important. The first step that I would tell anyone to start with is to go to your local nursery and ask them, oh, what's your most popular tree? What do you sell the most of? And look at that and get a, get a hint as to what is popular. And usually they'll say something like, oh, a lot of screening trees or shade trees or arborvitas or maybe there's people that are buying burning bushes, but everybody has in different areas has different likes and dislikes. So you must make sure, first and foremost, that you grow something that somebody wants to buy. Another way to determine what people want to buy is to drive around to various neighborhoods near your place you're gonna grow trees and see what people are buying the most of. For example, People sometimes put in a screen of arborvitas or evergreens like pines or spruces, and they don't buy just one, they may buy 20 at a time. It's easier to sell one person 20 trees than 20 people one tree each. And it's a lot more efficient to sell 20 trees to one than it is to sell one tree to 20 people. So in considering buying a seedling or a transplant, or a young tree to plant, you have to have cost considerations in mind. Don't think about the very smallest and cheapest of plant that you can possibly find, because it's probably gonna be only about two to three inches tall, and it's gonna be very difficult to grow out in a field. So you wanna to talk to your grower about what is the best size, the optimum size tree or shrub to start with, and then plant that, because every time you plant a tree and it fails, you've lost time, energy, and money. So some seedlings and transplants will do better than others. And it has to do with the size, the age, and how many times that seedling or transplant has been transplanted. Those are critical factors in growing high quality trees and getting trees to grow easily on your site. But remember, the most important thing is to grow a tree or a shrub that you can market because it does you no good to grow trees and shrubs that you can't market. Unless, of course, you want the deer to eat them or you just want to go out and watch the wildlife. But, you know, if you want to make money at it, you've got to grow something that is saleable. Always think of in terms of if you want to come to Highland Hill Farm, we'll be glad to give you a tour of our operations and show you how we grow trees and shrubs. And we also have equipment rentals for planting trees and shrubs. With our tree planters, you can plant upwards to 3,000 seedlings or transplants a day. And we have the seedlings and transplants to sell you as well. So give us a call at Highland Hill Farm at 215-651-83. Tonight. Thank you. This video was produced at Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, and these are our green giant arborvitas. Call us for your screening tree needs at 215 651 8329.